A1 is a database in Excel. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a database in A1. If you see the main menu A1 and the red and the green buttons, it means A1 is installed in your computer. Using A1 is a simple two steps. The first step is to take a picture of your Excel file using the green button. The second step is to run your report using the red button. Let's see the st steps using the balance sheet file. Open the balance sheet file. This file is located in my document folder and it is installed with A1. Take the picture of the file. Taking a picture means clicking the green button. When you click the green button, you'll, you'll get a dialog box. In this dialog box, you see the properties of the Excel file. You see the location of the file, the file name, the worksheet name, the numbers of rows and columns, and other information. This is what makes the picture of the file. You can make some changes in the dialog box. You can increase the maximum row so that in the future, if someone adds additional record, your report will include those new records. Here, the maximum row is 20. Let's make it 100. You can also edit the fields in the, to include in your report. Here in the print section, you see the fields included in, your, in the report. Let's change this section also. Click in the print section. Click the delete all button. Now you can select the fields to include in the report and add it using the add button. Let's add group field first. Then account ID. And then description. From the dialog box, you can choose where to store this picture. You can store the picture as A1 or save it in the table definition file. Here, let's choose A1. Now you have taken the picture of the balance sheet file and stored it as A1. This completes the first step. The next step is to get your report using the red button. Open a new Excel worksheet. Type A1 in the first cell. And run your report using the red button. Running your report means clicking the red button. Now you get your report in A1. This report is from your balance sheet file. See how the group file comes first. This is because of the editing you did to the picture. If the contents of the balance sheet file change, your report will also include those changes. You do not have to take the picture of the updated file again. Let's open the balance sheet file again. Change the first account name to test. Open a new Excel worksheet. Type A1 and run your report. Now you see the change made in the balance sheet file that has included in your report. Pictures taken in A1 can be stored in Excel file to create a database. The Excel file which stores A1 picture is called table definition file. Let's create our table definition file. Open the balance sheet file. Take the picture of the file using the green button. From the dialog box, choose table definition. You will get a new Excel file. The second row has the picture of your file. Give it a report number 1. Save the file. Let's save this file as table. Now we have created a table definition file and saved it as table. The next step is to let the system know where the table definition file is located. Go to the main menu and click on A1. Click on setting. Click on table definition. You get a dialog box. This is where you let the system know about your table definition file. Click Browse button. Open your table definition file. Now you get the path and the file name information of your table definition file. Type the worksheet name. Here it is sheet 1. Type sheet 1 and click the Save button. 
The setup process is completed. You have created a table definition file and the system knows where it is located. Now you can get a report from your database. Open a new Excel and run a one. You'll get a list of reports in your database. Here you have one report. To get a report from your database, type the report number in the first cell and run A1. Type 1 in the files on the first cell and run your report. This is your report 1 from your database. Let's add another report on our database. Open the stock file. This file is located in my document folder and it is installed with A1. Take the picture of the file. Choose table definition from the dialog box. You get a new Excel file. The picture of the file is in row 2. Copy the picture of the file and add it to your table definition file. We have created our table definition file before and saved it as table. So open the table definition file. Paste the picture on, of the file here. Give it a report number 2 and save the file. Now you have added one more report to your database. Open a new Excel worksheet. Run A1. You get a list of reports in your database. Now you have two reports in your database. To get report number 2, type 2 in the first cell and run A1. You get the report from the stock files. To get report 1, type 1 and run your report. You get the report from the balance sheet file. In an office environment where you have a network of computers, you can have one table definition file shared by all users of A1. Here I have created a table definition file and saved it as test data. Let's open it. You see this table definition file has nine reports. We are going to change the setting of our table definition file to this Excel file. Go to the main menu and click A1. Click setting. Click on table definition file. You get the dialog box. Click the browse button. Open the test data file. Type the sheet name. Here the sheet name for the table definition file is sheet 4. Type this. And then click the save button. Now open a new Excel and run A1. You will get a list of reports in your database. Now you have 9 reports in your A1 database. You have your chart of account, bank statement, credit card statement, and other reports in your database. Let's see the power of this database by asking some questions. In A1, the first five rows of the worksheet have special function. Row 1 is to type report number. Row 2 is to select records. Row 3 is to sort your report. Row 4 is to group and summarize your report. Row 5 is to format and match records. Let's get the first question. What was, the ban what was the bank transaction of November 3rd, 2008? To answer this question, you need the bank statement. Open Excel. Run A1. You get a list of reports in your database. The bank statement is report 9. Type 9 in the first cell and run A1. Now you get a report from the bank statement. The question is to get November 3rd transaction. So using row 2, select records from the bank statement. Type November 3rd, 2008 in column A, row 2. Run your report again. Now you get transaction from November 3rd, 2008. Second question. What is the account code for supplies? To answer this question, you need to get your chart of account. Open Excel. 
Open Excel. Run A1. You see, Report 6 is your chart of account. Type 6 in the first cell and run your report. You get your chart of account. The question is to get account code for supplies. Select supplies from the, the account description. You can use asterisk to complete the sec section criteria. Then run your report. Now you get the account code for supplies. This completes our lesson to how to create a, and how to get report from your database.